What's up guys, Brendan Foley here with Sunders Only Garage. Today we're going to be going over installing TC Bros front and rear radial brake kit. So first we're gonna start with the front radial conversion. You're gonna need a couple basic tools, 7 16 open end wrench for your brake lines, 3 16 for your junction block, um, and a 14 mil for your banjos. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start with our radial brackets. These do come in raw and black. You can see, you know, we went with the, the black brackets just to match with the front end as we got the black legs, black wheels. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, get these brackets on. We're gonna start with some blue Loctite on our mounting bolts. We'll go ahead and get these mounted up just finger tight and then get our <clears throat> calipers mounted up and make sure everything's aligned correctly before we start torquing the bolts. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get, the, get this right side caliper on. We already got our Loctite installed on the bolts. Got our spacers on there, everything that comes with the kit. Get everything on here finger tight. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our Brackets torqued down to 30 foot pounds. We're gonna follow up with our caliper, get those torqued down to 30 foot pounds. And then we'll come back around to the front, double check our, our brake alignment, make sure nothing's binding up again. We're gonna move on to the left, repeat the same procedure. Go ahead, we'll get this bracket installed. it on here, get everything nice and snug, finger tight. Should go right in, no binding. All right, now we got our brackets and calipers, everything mounted up and torqued down. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the brake lines. Before we get the brake lines installed, I'm gonna get our, uh, our junction block put on so we can get all those screwed in. Same thing on this junction block. We're gonna put a little blue Loctite on it. Loctite on everything, just about. All right, so now that we got our junction block installed, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our banjo bolts. <clears throat> Kit comes with fresh banjo bolts and crush washers. Very important to have fresh crush washers on there. Now we got these finger tight. Go ahead and get these lines installed. I'll go ahead and get this right side brake line screwed on finger tight. Now we got our lines and everything finger tight where we want it. We're gonna go ahead and start with our, our banjo bolt, 14 millimeter. Get it smugged up nice and tight. Now we're gonna move on to our brake line. That's 716 open end wrench. Get this guy nice and snug. Then we can move up top. 7 16 open end wrenches. Get these guys snug. That side's good and everything's tight. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the right side. Here we're gonna make sure our lower banjo is where we want it. Go ahead and get that 14 millimeter fitting snugged up. Snug that and then we'll hop up top with our two seven sixteenths wrenches and get this guy snug. Yep. So we got the 
the caliper mount and the calipers with the brake lines installed. We're gonna go ahead and move up top, get our upper brake line on, get the uh, brake spread. All right, we're gonna go ahead and install our upper brake line. Get that snugged up. Grab our banjo bolt with our two fresh washers. These guys in there. Get all these snugged up and then we'll be ready to bleed the bricks. On this particular master setup we're using, it calls for a top four brake fluid. You're always gonna to wanna to start at the caliper furthest away from your master cylinder. Let's crack this. Start bleeding them down. Same procedure, just make sure that we're topped off in the master cylinder so we don't pull any air through. <clears throat> Go ahead and close this guy up and we'll move on to the rear brakes. All right, now that we got the front TC Bros radial conversion installed, we're gonna go ahead and put her back up in the air and get the rear going. All right, we got our TC Bros rear radial brake mount, which comes with our three quarter inch axle insert, our Brembo radial, our banjo, and our banjo bolt, and our radial spacers. All right, first, before we get this rear bracket installed, you're gonna want to remove your rubber bumper from your factory caliper mount and get it installed in here. It's very important to make sure that's in there. Um, and then we will install our three quarter bushing and go ahead and get this on the bike. And go ahead and slide her right onto our caliper mount. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our rear axle in there. Dab some grease. Go ahead and get our factory spacer in. Over here, get our belt drive on. Go ahead and get our axle through, get all lined up. On the radial side, we're gonna use our factory spacer along with the spacer that TC Bros provides you with the kit. We'll get those slid in here. It's not gonna be easy. There we go. All right, moving on to our Brembo radial. We're gonna go ahead, get these spacers. They, they provide you with the kit on the bolt. Go ahead, get some blue Loctite on there and install everything finger tight before you torque it down. We're gonna go ahead and torque the rear axle to 55 foot pounds. We're gonna come up to the brake caliper and get those torqued down to the bracket at 30 foot pounds. Make sure that you installed your blue Loctite on those bolts, it was very important. All 
All right, now we got everything torqued. Let's check one more time, make sure we got no binding. Everything spins freely. All right, moving on to our brake line, we're gonna go ahead and install our banjo bolt along with our banjo, fresh crush washers. Get everything finger tight in there. We'll get our upper and lower brake line finger tight on here before we go ahead and get everything tightened down. All right, now that we got the radial mount mounted with the caliper, our master's full of fluid, we're gonna go ahead and bleed the rear brakes. All right, now we got the front and rear radial brakes installed on the bike. Everything went smooth, pretty straightforward. Um, not much to it. I think, uh, I think we should bring her down and take it for a spin.